Hello, welcome to Happy Reading Central with Darby G. Now I'm gonna show you some activities that I think are great for five years and up. So there is a little overlap with this video and the other video, and you'll know why when you see them because they do kind of vary. Um, but some of these are for the older kids and I'll try to sleep that out, okay? For example, one of our brand new releases is a creative writing book. Now this goes in the series that we have, you write your own storybooks. Um, make your own comics and write your own adventure stories and then there is my first story writing book those are all the same series same concept so if you see those out there it's kind of it's laid out in the same way um, this book is amazing if you have a child needing help with imagination or writing or if you have one that's already really good at it they will love this this will help them it gives you story ideas and different ways to write different formats like a screenplay and um, there's a glossary in the back shock journalism sus suspense newspaper style all the different types of writing in one book and it gives you a way to keep track of it gets them away from technology too now for the older kids seven and probably seven eight and up um, this is not a math book, and it's it's not, guys. It's not a math book, right? Nope. It is art. You learn how to do art with math tools and math concepts, and it is pretty darn fascinating. That's This is not a math book. One of our brand new titles, Astronaut Academy, might be in my top three new releases we've ever gotten. Um, it is so awesome. It will, t it will take your child through activity after activity of what it, take, what it takes to be an astronaut. Now, of course, these are home-based versions of the experiments and the skills, but they get little stickers when they um, finish it, and there's stuff like building a rocket to your reaction time, all of these fun things. It comes with a fold-out board game, a kind of paper game, what you want to say, um, at the end. Um, I would suggest six and up for independence, but I'm going to be doing these with my four-and-a-half, almost five-year-old with him. We have lots of different puzzle pads and different things like that. I just want to bring your attention to kind of like that part. They are tear out sheets so you can take them easily. I got to get going, so I'm going to keep going. Um, make buildings. If you have an architect or a little designer or artist in your family, get them this book. This is an activity book full of ideas for and different prompts. This will get them thinking. And so it's such a cool way to get their artistic skills out there. Coding for beginners using Scratch. I think every adult needs this too. This is what the wave of the future is, guys. Like, Scratch is a free program, okay? So if you get this book, you can get the program because the program is free. It's online, and this will show you how to make things, get animations going, make games, and then it includes a menu guide and glossary in the back, and then extra help, and then there's downloads and stuff online that you can get even more resources. We have an excavation kit. We have three of them right now. Um, this is awesome. I can't find the dinosaur that my son just finished digging because he's been playing with it, but it was so much fun to watch him do this. It took several times too, so it's not a one and done. Like, It took several digs to do it. Um, we put a garbage bag down. He has his little glasses on. It's so much fun. They, they chip away at the stone with the tools provided, brush him away, and then they get to snap the bones together. And it comes, this one and another one come with a book, I believe. I'm really sorry if I'm wrong. Yep, no, this comes with a book about sharks. One of the dinosaurs one does and one of them does not. So just heads up. A year in my life. So my niece uses this and um, I, I recommend this to any child, probably seven and up. Um, it gives you prompts, daily prompts that are imagination based, creative writing based, or drawing based. For example, draw a bunch of something in this vase. Bananas, flowers, worms, pick someone you'd give them to. Um, what is the best time of the year? Draw a scene from your favorite season. Write a list of the places you want to visit. They can be real or imaginary. Just so many quirky little prompts for a little journal to um, record their year. And this will be really fun to look back on later. So we have a Create Your Own Pizzeria as well as Create Your Own um, Boutique, I think it is. I don't have that one, but I have the pizzeria one. Guys, this is awesome. This is for the child that is like having lemonade stands and talking already about making crafts to sell online. Um, this gets them in a business plan mode. It's such a cool way to teach them the business skills, entrepreneurial skills that they're gonna need later in life if they start their own business. You talk about location, what's actually going on the pizza, um, how to set the table, um, pick the chef, dress your dress the people that are going to work there what i mean it goes on and on every decision that you'd have to make as an actual pizza shop owner 
it of course pairs it down so it fits in this book as well as for that age and it's so much fun anyway thank you for joining and again please check out my other activity video because it will have some that your child will most likely like as well thanks so much have a good one and happy reading